Um, are you expecting her to get pregnant in today's stream? Because that would be exciting. Probably not pregnant in today's stream because I want to work on her and uh, Golden Boys uh, slash Elliot's uh, relationship. And I want to get them going out on dates and, you know, getting close to each other. So we're probably not going to do any, like, you know, any... Um, breeding today <laughs> why did i say it like that we're not gonna have any children coming along today or any um you know any of that stuff so we um yeah we won't be seeing any of that but that's okay um because babies will be coming along soon because she only has 37 days until she ages up to a elder which means that she can't have any more kids when she ages up to an elder but um for this part of the challenge it goes into being an elder as well so let me just let me just uh let me just show you guys what i'm talking about because i was in the middle of oh wait that's the wrong scene sorry hold on <laughs> Woo! there we go <laughs> you're taking you guys on a ride <laughs> okay so this is uh these are the goals that i wanted to go over with you guys for this portion of the generation so if you guys wasn't in yesterday's stream yesterday we completely finished up with nikita's young adult lifespan so that is completely done um we finished all of this stuff we completed the public enemy oh also the rules changed a little bit i don't know if you guys saw um saw the changes that i made i just made like a tiny little change i made it so that you now have to complete the public enemy aspiration because i thought to be honest we managed to do it when we played and we was also doing a lot of storytelling so i was like well i'll make it just a little bit harder <laughs> so i made it so that you have to complete that uh the aspiration if you guys are playing along with me so that one is done um and now we're moving on to the adult slash elder section so we have to meet a family oriented partner which we've technically already done because we met elliot we need to use the retraiting potion which we've done but we've only swapped one of her traits out we've now got the romantic trait and the hot-headed trait family oriented we said we're going to give to her later when she starts having children and she starts getting into the whole you know family uh mindset so for now we're just going to have those traits we also need to change the aspiration to super parent quit our job and become a stay-at-home mum. um have children which obviously we can do as an adult but we can't do as an elder so we need to have all the children possible in her adult life stage we need to move into a family home max a parenting skill reach level eight of the okay i'm i'm, I'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> i really hope we could do all of this within her adult lifespan it's gonna be fine right it's gonna be fine <laughs> Uh, we need to reach level eight of the wellness skill. We need to complete level three of the super parent aspiration. Take our toddlers and children to the park every four sim days. That's like a, you know, a family building or family like team building exercise, I guess. Um, help complete every school project your children get and have all of our teenagers finish school with A grades and at least one positive character value each. So yeah, next, um, the next portion of the challenge is going to be uh stressful <laughs> it's gonna be really stressful um so we need to buckle up we need to we need to work on this stuff yeah the wellness skill took us 10 plus episodes with billy last time yeah i'm a bit worried about the wellness skill getting that to level eight but i was thinking we could start now right so obviously she was a massive like she was a massive criminal and then we're gonna go into her you know being a really relaxed mom so i'm gonna get her to do like yoga and to do like meditation because she's like trying to she's trying to be, like you know go to like be at peace and things you know she's trying to calm down calm her life down i feel like that would definitely make sense yeah like she's like trying to drive her life so that she's not stressed anymore um that's the, that's the goal at least <laughs> so we're gonna see how it goes um that's why i didn't say max it i just said level eight but hopefully that's not too bad to do we'll see if we're in a complete rush but yeah this portion of the um of the challenge is gonna be hard i think but hey it's not a challenge if it's not hard is it like what's the point in calling it a challenge if i, I don't actually find it challenging like what is that <laughs> Uh, could you put her on the gallery as you start with the new generation? Yes, I would definitely put her on the gallery. Um, only once I'm done with her though, because I, I want to make sure that I'm done with her generation before I put her on the gallery. And then I'll do the same with like, you know, her children. I'll put them on the gallery afterwards as well. Lauren, you never got um, to level five of the fitness skill. Did I not? I think I did. Did I not do that? Oh, that's embarrassing. No, no, I did. I did. That was part of her career. She had to do that, I think. Oh, was it level four? Oh god, I'm about to change the rules. <laughs> See, the good thing about having my own challenge is I can change the rules because it's my own challenge. <laughs> so you can't foul your own challenge because I can change the rules. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you can do yoga with your kid at the park. Knock a few birds with one stone. <gasps> That's a really, really good idea, Ninja. Thank you so much for the suggestion, actually. That's like, oh, that'd be cute. Like a little family, like, taking them to the park and then go do some yoga. That would, oh, that would be dead cute. I love that. <laughs> 
Yeah, exactly. I'm the creator. I'm the creator. I get to decide when and how I complete the challenge because <laughs> I'm making the challenge. No, I don't. I don't want to cheat too much. You know, like um, you guys know what I'm like. I like to play very. Uh, I like to have a challenge. Like, what's the point in doing a challenge if it's not very challenging? But in fairness, we only just managed just managed to complete the goals of last gen. So yeah, we'll see. Hey, babe. Huh? No. No. Okay, thanks. I was trying to remind you to get to level five, but oh well, you can just change it. Okay, I'll change it to level four. Whatever skill she she has, whatever whatever level she has, I'll change it. <laughs> so that, not you changing the challenge to suit you. If that's the only way we can complete it, you know, at this point. Look, this is the point, okay? I've made my own challenge so that I can customize things that are gonna be realistic. Sometimes I might make the challenge just too difficult and it might not be realistic to be able to complete. So uh, we've got to make it realistic, guys, okay? <laughs> Um, are you doing any redeems today? I'm not sure because today's going to be a shorter stream. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit any redeems in. Otherwise, we're going to get no gameplay in. So we'll see at the, you know, like when we get into the gameplay, like how, how much we're going to do from there and whether we'll be able to do any of that. Oh my God, saw our gorgeous Phoenix on the uh, save file screen. So excited for Not So Berry next week. <gasps> I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I think Not So Berry is coming, depending on when my editor gives the video back to me, it might be coming by Wednesday, but we're gonna see when my editor gives it back to me. If if my editor gets the video back to me, it might come between Monday to, to Wednesday, between that sort of time. Um, and then 100 Babies coming next week as well. So I'm excited for you guys to see. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna look while I crochet. Oh, love that, Trin. Okay, no worries. Might chat a bit and uh, there though, no worries. I'm so excited for the new 100 baby. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm I'm really excited for 100 baby. Uh, for some reason, I'm nauseous today. I'm not pregnant or anything. I just get nauseous sometimes because of food and medicine I take and it's annoying. Meggie, I get that all the time as well. Do you ever get that? Like when you, when you take medicine on an empty stomach? Whenever I do that, I get really sick. I always have to make sure that I've eaten before I take any medicine. Um, shorter stream, Lauren says, Evie, don't call me out like that. Don't even do it. No, <laughs> don't do it. Um, here we go. Right, so the goal of today's stream is to try and get Nikita's public image to actually be in the green or okay maybe the green's a bit too ambitious something closer that like in orange or like you know like pink because right now she has the worst reputation possible um you can't even get any worse than that everybody hates her whenever she meets anyone no one likes her I, Okay, I think I just choked again. <laughs> um, I don't think that, no, like, I don't think she's going to make many friends when immediately anybody meets her. They just hate her because she has a really bad reputation in the community. So, yeah, like, something neutral would be better. But I'm thinking we should go, like, volunteering and things. Like, you know, it'll make it'll make all the community think that we're, like, a really good person if we go and volunteer and, like, care for, like, the elderly or, I don't know, like, feed the trees or something. I don't, I don't know what the volunteering things are. But I'm, I was thinking as, like, some dates between her and Elliot. Actually, where is Elliot? Elliot? Oh, he's in my house. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking as, uh, a few things that her and Elliot could do is like some volunteering exercises together. And that'll be like cute little date moments, you know, because we need we need to go on a few dates, you know, because right now they literally, they just got friends in the last episode or they just started talking in the last episode. So I feel like this, uh, this episode is going to be um, like character development for them. I think like, you know, getting them closer and things. But we need to go and finish off Nikita's other outfits as well. Now he is cute. Oh, Elliot is such a cutie. We love him. <laughs> the one time we look at him and he ain't on the toilet. Every single time we look at him, he's on the toilet. Pretty sure last time he had a stomach bug though. So <laughs> I was sitting on the toilet all stream. It was too good though. <laughs> okay, so this is what Nikisa is looking like. You guys would have seen this uh, if you was in yesterday's stream. We gave her a makeover at the end. So the style that we're going for is mummy slash rocker because her style before, if you have a look, like this is these were her styles before. She was very into like a very like streetwear slash like, I don't know, I guess it is kind of streetwear. It's like kind of street. Yeah, it is just streetwear. Okay, that's it. Um, So now I'm incorporating like the mumsy slash streetwear style. Okay, it's not really streetwear, but it's kind of like, you know, rocker. So she's kind of like really cool mum. This is the this is the way that we're going for her. She's also going to get her face tattoos removed um, probably at the end of today's stream or at the start of next uh, next episode stream because uh, I'm going to leave all the rest of her tattoos on her, but just get rid of the face tattoos because, you know, she's becoming a new person. Yeah, okay, edgy style. There you go. <laughs> yeah, she looks more mature with her hair, I think. I think she's looking um, a lot more mature. So we're going to leave that as her um, everyday outfit. 
And then we need to do some of our other outfits as well. So this is a formal outfit right now. Um, we need to change her hair back to the other one. We need to make sure she has that hair in everything, uh, every single one. So let me let me go over. So she has the black into yeah, because obviously she had natural black hair, didn't she? Our queen looks gorgeous. I think she looks so cute. <laughs> I think she looks dead sweet. Um, I think I'm gonna leave. Is this outfit okay? Could we leave this outfit on her? Maybe change the shoes to something a little bit more, like uh, a little bit more comfy. I feel like this outfit is actually okay. Like, this outfit can definitely work still. Yeah, I love this outfit. I think it's really good. Maybe those. Those work. Mm. What else could we do? Uh, no, they're, they're not in. <laughs> um, you, can only live in, you can only live in a tiny house. Um, what? Oh, Daisy. No. <laughs> uh, no, Daisy. What was that? Oh no, Daisy! Why are you doing this to me, babes? Like, why? Why are you actually? Why are you doing me dirty like this? Did you, do you guys see Daisy's redeem? Daisy's redeem says that Nikita can only live in a tiny house for the rest of her whole life because she is used to a trailer. And then she says, "Love you," Mwah. as if that's gonna make me like feel any better about it. Really? <laughs> um. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be super fun. How am I going to fit all these children that I anticipated? Okay, so I was supposed to build or have a live in a family home. What is a family home when... when <laughs> oh, okay. A tiny home, you say. So can I have the maximum size of a tiny home then? Can I work with that? Because like, <laughs> they're going to have to share rooms. I'm going to have to like stack all the kids up on bunk beds. That's going to be the only way to fit them all in. A tiny family home? Oh my god, why are you doing this to me? I think you hate me. I think I think you hate me. <laughs> the middle one, the middle one of the tiny home. Okay, so you want me to have the middle one. Okay, well at least that's a compromise because admittedly Billy had the f the first one. You remember that? You remember that one? And I, the fact that I even managed to fit all the kids in there was like just honestly miraculous. That says like enough about me. The fact that I could even fit them all in there, like you know, that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> The fact that I managed to fit like how many kids does she have? Like four kids, and I fit them all in like the micro home, whatever it was. Um, yeah, I don't even know how I done that to be honest. <laughs> you can do tiny, micro would be impossible. Yeah, I think micro is like you know that's that's aiming for too much. I think. Um, I think this formal wear is fine. I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna leave that on her, and then athletic wear. Um, these two are okay as well. We can leave those on her. Billy also had the middle one eventually. Yeah, she eventually upgraded to that one, didn't she? But to begin with, well, for the most part of her life, she was in the other one, which was a complete nightmare. And we had to have so many kids as well. Or you guys wouldn't be to have so many kids. Are you going to put that as a rule or is this just for Nikita? I think that's just for Nikita. I really, I, like, I don't want, I don't want to make you guys suffer that much. Seriously. <laughs> I don't want to make you guys suffer as much as I am. I feel like that would be too mean. Um, Here we go. I really don't like the fact that her hair hasn't copied over to all of them. I think it's because I changed her hair at some point. Hi, Isabella. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Daisy is wicked. Daisy really doesn't even care about us. She was like, oh, love you. Mwah, as if that was going to make us change. We was going to feel any differently about it. No chill with the 5,000 bitties. Holy. Thank you so, so, so much. No chill. We love you. Please, guys, please, please, please. Could we get some collapse love and hype in the chat for no chills? 5,000 bitties. Thank you so much. <laughs> How many kids is she going to have? I was thinking about three because she already has a child. Uh, she, yeah, she already has a child that she gave up for adoption, which I actually want her to meet that child at some point. So we're going to work on that as well. But I think, um, yeah, I think I think I want her to meet meet the kiddo. Um I don't know whether we're going to meet the kiddo in today's stream. I think maybe when she starts getting into like her family life and, you know, she's thinking about uh, starting her own family, she's probably going to feel bad that she gave her the child up for adoption um, because obviously she, she couldn't take care of it at the time and she also didn't want kids. So I feel like that would be her chance to like go and like, you know, like sort of redeem herself and go and meet the child and, you know, like have a relationship with them. I'm good. I'm, I'm on holiday in Cornwall. <gasps> Lovely. I love Cornwall. <laughs> I'm here for the tiny home chaos. <sighs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why are you doing it to me? 
Um, right, so we need to pick her party wear outfit. So if you remember, she has a specific style. See, something like that looks really cool on her. I think that looks really, really good. See, that? Oh, see that's kind of cool. We could, de like, this is our party wear, bear in mind. So we could do a lot with it. Um, I kind of already like that. I think that looks really good. I kind of like it with the little red accents. Can we go for the red... Because I, I want to keep her style similar. As I said to you guys, I don't want to change her style completely. I think it would be completely unrealistic if we're like, oh yeah, suddenly her style changes completely because she's... Um, her style will change completely because she's a mom now or because, you know, because she's uh, family oriented and things like that. I don't think we should change her completely. But I feel like that is a lot more of her like current style, you know? Toyo with the tier one sub. Thank you so, so, so much for the sub. Guys, please could we get some collapse love and hype in the chat for Toya? Also, I hope you enjoy your badge and your emotes as well. Have fun with those. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. Laura makes stunning sims. Oh, Meggie, you're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, what about these ones? Ah, uh, those work too. I was thinking of heels on her though. Maybe I get rid of the, rid of the socks and we go for just shoes on this one. I thought, how can I make your challenge harder since a challenge is supposed to be hard, right? No, <laughs> not me saying that and you like repeating it and like actually doing me dirty with it. Oh my God, I shouldn't have said it, should I? I think I dropped myself in it. <laughs> I really think I dropped myself in that one. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like it with those shoes. That works. Hi, Nosy, how are you? One thing I always love about you and Claire's Sims is that you can dress your Sims in anything and it will look good. <laughs> I mean, not all of my Sims are like this though. Admittedly, I've, I've felt like I've had a lot of Sims that aren't, that don't always end up like this. Um, I feel like sometimes you get lucky, you know, with a Sim that kind of suits everything. But sometimes I've had some Sims that like, you know, like it's a struggle to find out what you like, what you're going to dress them up in. Um, but I feel like she, she does suit quite a lot, like quite a lot of clothes. Um, I'm trying to think of what necklace to go for on her. Don't want to go with anything. Yeah, I think that's fine. That works. Maybe not in the black though. Can we go with gold maybe? Oh yeah, the gold works nicely with this. And then we'll swap the the rings as well. We'll swap those to, oh, that's not rings, these rings. Uh, we'll swap these to the gold so they match as well. So she's got like matching everything. Lucky yet yeah, every sim that Lauren has ever created for all of these challenges has been perfection. <gasps> no, don't do it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Thanks so much. That's so cute. Um, we had Jess with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow, Jess. And we also have Dinosaur Bagels with the Prime Sub as well. I was going to say tier one, but it's not as Prime Sub. Thank you so, so, so much, Dinosaur. Guys, please, can we get some collabs, love and hype in the chat for Dinosaur as well? Thank you so much, Dinosaur. We appreciate you. Hope you enjoy your badge and your emotes as well. Um, right, what are we looking like? Oh, she looks so good in this outfit. Honestly, I feel like we never really see much of Nikita's body um, because she she wears like a lot of, or she used to wear like a lot of baggy clothes. But like, come on. Like, she is just like gifted. What is this? <laughs> Hi, Diamond. Welcome to the stream. How are you, babes? You have so much CC. I know. I've been going on a CC shop recently. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. I've just, you know, I just keep going on CC shops. I think there's something wrong with me. <laughs> um, right, so her hot weather wear, we need to get rid of that. And she has her original hair. Um, I'm going to swap this. I'm going to swap the, the bottoms that she's wearing to something else, I think. Um, hmm. What do we go for? Damn, I missed yesterday's stream. You can go and watch it on uh, Twitch down below if you want to, Dinosaur. Uh, you can always go and rewatch them if you want to. Hey guys, did uh, the seam start a long time ago? Uh, we started about 40 minutes ago, but we, we've only just started playing, so you haven't missed too much, don't worry. Uh, I'm good, thanks, just playing Sims. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. What are you playing on Sims? Are you playing like a challenge or what are you doing? Oh, this could work. That's actually a really cute little uh, skirt on her as well. We might go for that. Oh, she's got the, the snake bites in. Oh, did she have the snake bites in for all of her other outfits? I need to make sure I take them out because she doesn't wear those anymore, does she? She got rid of her snake bites. Um, that outfit is actually fine on her. Like, I think I think that outfit is fine for her to wear as well. We could leave that one on her. So formal. Yeah, she has her snake bites in. Let me get rid of them. Mm. Where would you recommend to get custom content for The Sims 4? Honestly, most of my custom content comes from, uh, it comes from The Sims resource and it also comes from 
uh, the uh, Sim Domination. I love those two places to get my CC from. Sim Dom normally updates with like a bunch of CC, but it's not. It doesn't like update with every piece of CC. Um, so I always go to the Sims resource and then I go through the featured creators and go through there. So I have like specific places that I go on each on each you know uh, on each uh, website. But both of them are really really good, honestly. I have to go now, but um, I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of the stream. No worries, Nanho. Thank you so much for popping in, and I hope you have a good time, you know, picking everybody up. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon as well. Thank you so much for popping in. Uh, right, that outfit's done. Her hot weather wear's done. Okay, cold weather wear. Um, yeah, okay, these outfits have got to change. <laughs> that one's fine, actually. She can keep that one. That one will be fine. And then this one... Uh, okay, we can get all of the balaclava. Okay, we're gonna stop stealing. We're gonna start being a good human being and stop stealing from people, please. <laughs> so we could, we could uh, get the balaclava off. That'd be great. <laughs> um, the coat needs to go. What this coat? I think this works. No, no, because she's still going for the rocker style. Like even her everyday outfit. See, like she has the exact same one on. So I think it works. We're gonna stop stealing. Look, she she actually still has the kleptomaniac trait. So I say she's gonna stop stealing, but honestly, I'm really not holding out much hope because she's probably gonna keep doing it like autonomously. But I'm gonna try and have her stop stealing. Whether she's actually gonna listen to me is another question. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. My uh, my phone just died. Oh, that's okay. Have you managed to charge it? Um, I think that's good actually for those outfits. Maybe this one with like a long coat. I feel like the long coat could look really nice. Uh, that one? Ooh, that, one kinda, that looks pretty good. What other ones have we got? That looks really nice, actually, on her. How do you uh, just show the CC clothes without the game clothes? Um, if you go on here, I, mine, mine currently isn't selected at the moment, but you can go on uh, content and then just select custom content and it'll only show you your custom content in-game if you want to use that. Um, you can use that if you want to. Uh, this one? Oh, that's kind of cute on her, too. That's, that's, giving, that's giving me mum vibes. It's giving me the mum vibes that I was looking for. Oh, this one too. Oh my, wait. This is not really her style yet though. Eventually, I feel like this could be her style, but not yet. This one's a little bit more her style, I think. Nikita is so pretty. I'm oh, glad you like her. Honestly, I've, I've got a love for Nikita. I've got, I've got, a, I've got big love for her. Um, oh, the, br the browns are look. The browns are big, a big look on her. That actually looks really nice. Lauren, my birthday is Halloween. I'm having a Disney themed birthday. Oh my god, Maggie, that's so exciting. Also, happy birthday for Sunday as well. <laughs> yes, this coat with a cup of coffee and a stroller. Oh my god, Harry, you already know. You already know. Uh, is it Harry? Wait, HSM. HSM, sorry. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? Are you going to move her out of Oasis Springs? Yes, most definitely. When she, uh, when she, you know, well, she's already, um, She's already getting into her, like a family oriented, but when her and Elliot officially get together, I'm gonna have them move out together and move into like a more family home, you know? So we'll end up doing that. But yeah, this is her outfit. Uh, we finished off all the rest of her outfits. I think she's looking very cute. And now, crusty little baby also deserves a makeover. So if you remember, my little baby Krusty. Um, he, oh my God, that's so cute, sorry. <laughs> um, Krusty always wore this like biker top. And now Krusty's, Krusty's a little bit older. Look at him, he's like, oh so old i'm getting sad um so i think we, we can dress crusty in something else um i think for now i'm gonna give crusty a little bell and then eventually i'm gonna get crusty a sweater when when we go when we go full mum right we're definitely getting crusty a sweater but for the moment i will give crusty a little um a little bell or something what color should we go for the gray maybe yeah the gray is quite nice where will she move i'm actually not sure where do you guys think she should move I would like to see her in Newcrest or Willow Creek. Yeah, those sound pretty good for her, actually. Um, I think I'm going to move my sim to Brindleson Bay as it gives me family vibes. Oh, Brindleson Bay is really good for family vibes. But I don't like the weather there. Honestly, it rains all the time. It actually... <laughs> Can Krusty be immortal? I would love for Krusty to be immortal. But we're doing a legacy challenge with the animals. So there's going to be like an, an animal per... Like a legacy challenge. We're going to be doing like an animal per generation. So otherwise, Krusty would go on forever. And that was that's just not going to work, I don't think. As much as I would love Krusty to live forever. We love Krusty. <laughs> um yes wisteria thank you so much could we get the poll that wisteria just suggested mods if that's possible because i think that's really good there, there's some good places too willow creek newcrest Brindleton bay Brindleton bay and windenburg those would be all good places 
She does need to move and that way uh, she can make new friends and she can change her reputation. Yeah, honestly, she probably has a really bad reputation in this in this world. She's had fights with so many people. I feel like she's going to become like a better person when she moves, you know? I'm literally playing in Brindleton Bay right now and it's raining. Honestly, Rosie, I'm not even surprised. Brindleton Bay, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> How will she earn money when she quits her job? So what we're going to do, um, we're going to keep her job for now because technically she's not, she's not like a, f she's not going like full, you know, mum right now. But what I'm going to do is have her take vacation days. So she has eight vacation days that she can take. So I'm going to have her take a bunch of vacation days because this is where she's going through that, that, you know, stage in her life where she's thinking about, is this really what I want? So she's thinking about changing, you know, she's thinking about like, like, you know, I want to be a different person, uh, especially after after she has spoken to Elliot and Elliot's, you know, on board with like trying to help her and things. So we're going to work on that for her. Sorry, Kira, 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 Kira. <laughs> so um, we're going to, we're going to work on those as well. So for now, I'm going to have her take a bunch of vacation days and hopefully in the eight vacation days that she's got, that's going to be when um, Elliot is going to um, that's when her and Elliot are gonna already be together. And by that point, that's when they're gonna be talking about having children. And then she can just say, right, I'll just quit my job then. So for now, she's gonna keep her job and she'll still be earning money from it, but she's not actually gonna go in and work. Um, so we're basically just gonna be able to play with her while she's not at work, which is great. <laughs> are you doing a challenge right now? Yeah, I'm doing my own challenge. It's called uh, the Legacy Story Challenge. Oh, what's the, what's the poll looking like? Oh, Windenburg? Oh, okay. I could see her living in Windenburg too. Windenburg's definitely a good one. Hi, Dragon Ball. Will she move out this stream? I don't think she'll move out this stream, but she'll definitely be like, uh, oh, okay, we've already set these up. She'll definitely be like ready to move on with Elliot like soon, I think. Um, Elliot's literally chilling in her apartment, uh, chilling in her <laughs> apartment. <laughs> okay, Elliot's tr chilling in her trailer. Oh, thank you for compliment. She can go over there and thank him for his compliment. That's so cute. Okay, let's go over there and do that. And then she also needs to go to sleep. She's still on her work sleeping schedule. So I need to get her back on a normal schedule. Um, I think as the first, the um, first thing that she should do with becoming a new person um, and trying to stay off the streets. Uh, oh, really? Elliot, come on, don't be like that. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna thank you for his compliment. He said that's cool. Okay, he said it was fine. I'm gonna have her go go to sleep because she really needs to. So I think as the first character development thing that we are gonna do for Nikita is have her stop drug dealing. That needs to be the first first thing that we are gonna do. For one, we're probably gonna do a little bit of a renovation to the trailer. You know, she's probably gonna not care as much about <gasps> Sylvie died, guys! Oh no! I can't believe Sylvie died. That was from our cottage living race switches. Um our founder that we had for her so i think yeah we're gonna end up um changing up the trailer so it's gonna look a little bit less stinky because you know that's probably gonna really affect the way that people are gonna see her if she turns up and she's living in a really stinky trailer you know nobody's no, like come on none of her friends are gonna want to turn up if she lives in that sort of trailer so that needs to change we're also going to be getting rid of her weed plants which actually perfect timing they've all just uh they've all just gone stinky um uh, they've all just they've all just died so that's actually perfect timing for me <laughs> Um, oh, and Krusty's not fed. Oh, hold on. Let me feed Krusty too. Right, let's let's go get rid of our weed farm. And then how do I have her stop drug dealing? Is there an option to do that? Um, how do I have her stop doing that? Is there a way? Is there a way that you can have your sim stop doing that? Like I want to, I, I don't want her to do that anymore. I don't know if I have to get rid of the traits. Hi, Gia. Don't worry. Uh, we just, we just gave uh, Nikita a little makeover. Um, and that was pretty much it. So we haven't really done any gameplay. Um, she could turn her weed shed into a yoga or meditation room. Oh my God, Leah, I love that. The actual development of that is so cute, by the way. <laughs> that would be so cute. You need to talk to our drug dealers to stop dealing. Okay, so I need to go speak to Alejandro. Well, I feel like that could be the time, right? Where she can go speak to Alejandro and actually call it quits on their relationship because they do have a little bit of like romance going on. And I feel like now she really wants to pursue a relationship with Elliot. So this is like the perfect opportunity for her to go and like, you know, call it quits with the drug dealer. So um, I think we might ask him to go to McDonald's because that was the first place that we met. So to bring it round in one full circle, we'll take him to, oh wait, he's probably going to be sleeping. I'll call him over if he's sleeping. <laughs> I'll take him to McDonald's because we always go to McDonald's. <laughs> no, no one last woohoo. There will be no woohooing with Alejandro. Um, we, were, we already learned Alison last time, okay? We're not doing that again, so. Let me, um, let me go and invite him over 
he might come he might come oh also i really really want nikita to meet her um her daughter who was adopted um she can okay so me and erin were talking right and Erin's playing out the same thing in her game, or you know, you know, the same challenge. And uh, when you go and you meet your daughter who you gave up for adoption, you should be able to have the option to select as like, you know, become their parent or not. Um, like accept as being their parent, which I really, really want to do. So eventually when Nikita decides that she really wants to have kids herself and become a parent and become like, you know, a good, you know, have a really good family and take care of her kids, that's when she's gonna go on and accept her um adopted daughter, or you know, her daughter who was adopted. Um so we're gonna go do that as well. But uh, yeah, that's lined up. <laughs> yes, as care dependent. No, no, no. So there's actually the mod that we use to have her be adopted, which is the Woohoo Wellness mod. Um, was it Woohoo Wellness? Yeah, Woohoo. Well no, not Woohoo Wellness. Um, yeah, no, it is Woohoo Wellness. So in that mod, when we gave her up for adoption with that mod, there's now an option to actually, you know, like say that you, you know, you're ready to be their parent and accept to be their parent. So I really want her to do that and then like have a good relationship with her with her daughter at some point because uh, i don't think it's right for her to go and like have a bunch of kids and then just completely disregard her old child don't you think that's weird like just pretend that she just didn't give her child up for adoption i feel like that would be wrong if she's going to become a super parent it doesn't really make sense you know no no i definitely use that mod trim i use the mod but i just had her go um and i didn't like um I had her go and, um, oh, hold on, I need to invite Alejandra over. Um, I had her go and set up so that she did, she doesn't have a relationship with her daughter afterwards, but her daughter was still exists and was still adopted, so we, we can still meet her, but I didn't do it through, um, through normal adoption. I think you should do that when she gets the family own trait. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Shan. Oh, guys, what do you think about my McDonald's uh, lot? I think I show you this. I think it's one of my proudest lots every single time I turn up to it. <coughs> Why am I coughing all the time today? Hold on. Okay. For some reason, I think it's like my most proudest lot. I never build community lots. And honestly, when I built this McDonald's, I'm so proud. It's not even that good, but I just always turn up to this McDonald's. Every single time. Every single time I can. I'm like, yeah, let's go McDonald's. <laughs> wow she hates a lot of people no no people hate her i mean actually she does hate them too but you know it's more so that they don't like her which is really sad honestly um we're gonna try and work on her reputation we're gonna have her go volunteering so first things first how do i have my sim get their reputation up does anybody know does anyone want to contribute in the chat because it's right now it's like as far in the red as possible and i need to work on this <laughs> i really really need to work on this um carolina are you okay? Why is she walking around naked? Okay, Carolina. Pop off. Pop off. I love that. Oh my god, the build is insane. I love it. Thank you so much. I think you're just saying that, but it's fine. <laughs> I think you just said it just because I said I'm it, but it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> um, volunteer and donating to charity. Okay, so we're going to spend a lot of time donating to charity, I think, like to try and redeem herself. You know what? Maybe she's been like such a terrible person for such a long time that she feels like donating to charity is going to start to redeem herself, you know? <laughs> I have realistic places to eat in my game. Starbucks, McDonald's, Taco Bell. Oh my God, I should try building those as well. Maybe I should try getting some CC for those and building those as well. This one, obviously, I've already got a CC set for this. And this is like, you know, this is looking very McDonald's-y. Like, come on. Look, you've literally got like a Big Mac there. You've literally got a Big Mac. <laughs> no, it generally looks so good. You did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, stop thinking Alejandro is good looking. Okay, we've already moved on from Alejandro. We like Elliot, okay? Look, listen, Alejandro, let's, let's, go, and, let's go and get a table together um let me just quickly request a table there you go right let's go request a table and then um look we need to have a chat you know um for one i'm becoming a better person you know i'm just you know i'm okay could you just <laughs> not be like trying to story tell and then alejandro goes down and does press ups what is wrong with sims please don't do that to me <laughs> It smells like chicken nuggets. Carolina is naked again. I don't know. Every single time I see her, she's always naked. Like, what is she doing? Oh, whatever. We love her. Carolina's honestly our bestie. She probably will always be our bestie. <laughs> she likes bad boys. Okay, she can't help it, okay? I don't mind. Alejandro wants to show off. He's like, oh, yeah, you want, you want to go with a different guy? Oh, yeah, look, look how many press-ups I can do <laughs> right in the middle of McDonald's. Listen, okay? <laughs> 
Carolina says no to clothes. I love it how, like, our bestie is the one who's wearing no clothes. <gasps> She's out here with her husband, though. That's cute. That's cute. She's out here with her husband. I love the fact that she's actually married, like, some guy who looks like, like, the actual male version of her. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's actually her, her twin. Just know that when you select to stop dealing, it will drop your friendship with Alejandro. Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh, no. Okay, this one they don't fit into. Well, I should have play tested it, shouldn't I? Okay, just really quick. Just give up this table and then we'll take another table. Why don't we grab this one? Huh? Let's just give this table up. Can I just quickly... Oh, she can't give it up because she can't sit down. She can't give the table up because she can't sit down. Okay, should we do some renovations? Let's fix my lot. Let's fix it. Does that mean I've got to get rid of these? Oh, that's going to be sad. I love these. I guess that's not too bad. They're still over here, aren't they? She likes red. He likes red. They have a lot in common. <laughs> I love it how I'm like, oh, they're literally opposites just because they're wearing red. Where do they go? Just because they're wearing red. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, in The Sims, that's about as far as you can get. So <laughs> it's fine. Um, right, I'm gonna order some food because, you know, if it's gonna drop my relationship with him, at the very least I can order him some food. So we'll get some, um, we'll get like a, a latte or something to stay awake so that we can get on a normal sleeping schedule. And I'll buy him a grub dog and I'll get myself a hamburger. There you go. Yeah, let's get that. And then, um, and then Alejandro, look, okay? I'm changing my life around. Why is there a bug on my screen? Hello? <laughs> bug, go. It's on my light. Go away. Oh my God. I hate bugs. <laughs> it's literally a fly sitting on my light. I can see him crawling across. Okay, whatever. It's only small. It's like literally that tiny. He wants to go. Are you really, is, is, is you really flirting with, oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. I literally, I literally take him here and he starts flirting with the, with the bloody waitress. Like, could you at least sit down? No, don't apologize. Look, come sit down. Look, okay. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this life, okay? Calahandra, I don't want this life anymore. Okay? I don't want to do this. Is he okay with this? Is he okay with it? Yeah? Oh, he drops their relationship a little bit. All right, whatever floats your boat, let me know if you change your mind though. Oh, he's okay with it. That was all okay. Okay, well, let me, let me stop, let me stop selling everything because I don't, I don't want to do that anymore, you know? I'm a different person. Um, I don't, I don't want to sell any of this stuff anymore. So let me just, let me just stop all of it. <laughs> He knows what is going to happen. He's trying to run away. He's really trying to run. You need to sit down and listen to what I'm about to say. There we go. And then I'll buy him food and it'll make him feel better, right? Uh, she also wants to hug someone. Oh my God, look at her being wholesome. I love that. Okay, is he okay with all of this? I think so. Yeah, okay. Their relationship has gone down a bit. But now she's a... F What's he doing? What's he doing down there? Okay, he stopped selling everything. Hello? What is he doing? Is he going to touch? Is he is he going to touch her leg? Okay, should I hug him? Should, should I hug him? It's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, you was always so kind to me. Um, you know, I feel like you could be a good person eventually. <laughs> um, what a creep. Oh, no, he's, he was reaching for this thing. He was reaching for that. I thought he went to go touch up her leg. Um... Look, I just want to be friends now. Like, I think, you know, I think it's best for us if we just, if we just stick to being friends. That is that a possibility? How do I do that? Is that in here somewhere? Um, is there an option to just be friends? I just want to be friends, you know? How do I, how do I do that? <laughs> uh, he's trying to hop in your pants. I mean, I don't blame him because, oh my God. Why does she want to flirt with him? No, no, no. Listen, okay? We're going for Elliot. You've literally just discovered how much you like Elliot last night, okay? Um, it's it's fine. Did she order for the table? I don't think we ordered for it. Oh, is it in the mean tab? No, I don't want to be mean to him though. Okay, she's already ordered the food. Nice. Uh, could you stop flirting with yourself in the mirror and like actually sit down? <laughs> mean. Is it in here? Threaten, shout forbidden words. Oh no, it's not in here. Maybe going out with him is tempting her. Oh no. How do I? Oh, make up and break up. Wait. Separate permanently. Angry. Separate permanently. We okay, but we was never together though. Um. I mean, we was. Yeah, sure. Okay. I <laughs> mean, we was never a thing. Check friendly. Yeah, I know it's in the friendly section, but I can't find it. I think it would have been an ask. Let me try and ask him about his day and stuff. And like, I don't know. Let me try and be friendly with him and see if it eventually comes up. A deep conversation, compliment, 
Um, ask the stargaze. Share? No. Talk up another sim. Help? No. Help fix bad relationship? No. Ooh, that could be some really cool things that we could do with, um, with Elliot. We could go around and fix all of her bad relationships with everyone. <laughs> um... I would have thought it would have been in here, like asked to be, asked to just be friends or something. Ask about relationship status. Okay, let me try this. You aren't together. That's why you don't have to ask him just to be friends. Yeah, but I don't want to like be, like I don't want to have any, have any, you know, like romance with him. I want to just fix that. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it in mean. I really didn't want to do it in mean, cause I and they're not even officially together or anything. But I'm gonna have to do it from here. Right. Okay. So. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna separate permanently, amica amicably. Um, why am I gonna separate with him? Okay, well, well uh, technically, we're not gonna separate, I guess. Life crisis, Nikita is done with her current unsatisfactory life and needs a change. A change of house, a change of work, a change of partner. Okay, so she was never together with him. She's never actually had a boyfriend, but I feel like this would be the reason that she would say like i can't do this anymore like we can't you know like we can't have a relationship anymore because you know i'm done with this life and you're part of that old life and i need to take like a step back you know so i feel like the life crisis makes more sense for her and obviously loving another i feel like she doesn't love elliot yet she has like attraction for elliot and she thinks he's a really nice guy and he'd be the best thing for her right now but she doesn't love elliot yet so i feel like that one doesn't really make sense so we'll do life crisis i think okay hopefully he takes it okay <laughs> is it gonna take oh and the food just turns up how awkwardly i'm literally doing this as the food is turning up <laughs> thank you brianne for the host <laughs> okay well the food's here and hopefully it's gonna like hold the blow i'm putting an end to the romantic relationship with alejandro oh my god is he crying oh my god he's crying oh my god he's crying no i feel bad <laughs> no i feel bad now why is he crying on me oh my god why is she so sad oh no Alejandro refused to separate amicably. His negative feelings are too strong for that, it seems. There's no staying in good terms now. <gasps> no! Now they don't like each other. I wanted to stay friends with him. Oh no, I feel so bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I completely missed the raid. Thank you so, so, so much, Simcel, for the raid. Thank you so, so, so much. Guys, could we get some love in the chat for Simcel? How was your stream, honey? How did it go? What did you play? Also, welcome in Raiders. Hi. <laughs> this is not good for our reputation. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's even going worse. Oh, and now they're sitting at dinner eating really awkward. Oh, this is just terrible. I actually feel really bad. Should I try and apologize? Save conversation. There's no saving this. Let me just try and apologize. I'll, ju I'll just I'll just say look, I'm really sorry. Um, It's just not going to work out between us, I don't think. Um, She wants to have a cry, too. Okay, she tried to apologize and he said no, and he's really angry. So look, his feeling is that he's really angry and she's just really sad. She's got the breakup blues. She, she's unhappy that it wasn't amicable. And she's got a sore throat because she's not very well. <laughs> Natasha with the five gifted subs. Thank you so, so, so much. Guys, please can we get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Natasha. Thank you so, so, so much for the five gifted. Um, you're welcome, stream was fun. I was working on a shell challenge as I'm mostly a builder. Ooh, that sounds really good. I'll have to go in and check you out after the stream and check out your build. I bet it was really good. <laughs> Take photos with him to make it realistic. Wait, what do you mean take photos with him? As if you just break up and you're like, oh yeah, can we just get a quick selfie? <laughs> no. Um, look, I'm just gonna finish off my hamburger and then I'm just gonna call it quits. Cause honestly, this is just really awkward. Um, oh, it's personal. Everyone seems to love a people person like Nikita. So if this is so if this um friendship fell apart, then it has to be that other sim's fault, right? I mean, oh god, right. Let me just call it. Oh, she's crying. I think she feels bad. I really think she feels bad. A quick breakup selfie. Should I do it? Should I see if you take? No, I can't. That's just rude. I can't take a breakup selfie with him. No, no, no. I won't do that to him. Okay, he's going home now. Oh my god. This is not good. I feel really bad for him. Oh my god, he's so pissed off as well. And now she feels really bad. See, this already is character development for Nikita. In any other situation, if Nikita was going to break up with somebody, she would never have felt sad about something like this. But this is clearly character development because she would never have normally have felt sad about, you know, like breaking somebody's heart. But I think right now she doesn't feel sad for herself. But she feels sad for him. She feels sad that he doesn't feel like that he thought that they were more than what they actually were. I feel like that's why she feels sad because she obviously didn't see that they was like, you know, as big as what they were. 
Nikita's starting to feel things well. Exactly, Gia. <laughs> What does she mean? Um, what does she mean? Doesn't most don't most people hate Nikita? But she's a people person, so the people that she are, is friends with, she gets on really well. And I feel like she feels bad that she doesn't have a friend anymore. Look out! Alejandro killed someone before he could do it. Oh no! <laughs> I'm glad I took a, like a extreme violence mod out. Uh, Ellen with the hundred bitties as well, guys. Could we get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for Ellen as well? Thank you so much. But this is good. We are changing. Yes. I mean, this is it's good that she's upset in a way. Like, it's a good thing because she's she's changing. I mean, it's slow, but she's still changing. And, it, you know, at this point, any feeling that Nikita feels, look, she's crying. And it's not for her own cold heart anymore. Normally, she'd cry and it was just for herself. You know, she'd cry because she was upset or whatever. Um, but at least now she's crying because she's actually upset somebody else and she feels bad. And that is a good thing. It's a good thing for her to feel bad. Um, well, I don't know why she can apologize to him. Um, hmm. I feel like it would be nice for for Elliot to try and cheer her up. It, well, f first up, okay, let's let's sort her life out, should we? Let's just try and sort her life out. One, by cleaning up the weed farm. We need to dispose of all this stuff. Let's, in fact, don't even worry about it. I'm just going to sell everything. Because this is just, um, I mean, come on, look at it. What is this, right? We're getting rid of the weed farm. The weed farm is no longer going to be a thing anymore. Um, because we're no longer a drug dealer. You know, we've changed that part of our life. We're, okay. No one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that, right? <laughs> Nobody saw it. <laughs> Not the bunny bag behind the shed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's too funny. Let me get rid of all these lights. We haven't got a weed farm anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, should I get, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> when we move, it's fine. I'll just leave it. It'll be fine. <laughs> the next owner can figure out what to do with it. I can't sell it. I can't do that with it. I can't sell it. Okay, I want to turn this into a yo yeah a yoga space. I'm thinking this can be the time when she's becoming a calming person. You know, she's um she's trying to become really like tranquil, you know, and just like really relaxed. So let's go for um let's go for spa day stuff. Um packs spa day spa 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 day. There we go. Okay, so what have we got? Oh, I need to get rid of the cracks too. Yeah, they've got to go. <laughs> they've got to go. <laughs> Why is there a body bag involved in every one of Lauren's legacy challenges? <laughs> you know, I just don't know. I really just don't know why there's always that. I don't. I just don't know, to be honest. Oh, this is nice. What about this? What color should we go for? What color's like nice and relaxing? Maybe like a green? I always like this type of green. I feel like that's a very relaxing color, you know? Recycle the body. Oh my god. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I think we'll do that. And then, um, should we go with the white tiles? What color tiles should we go for? Um, mm, I think I like these ones more. Oh yeah, we'll get some windows too. I mean, like, yeah, we just need to, we just need to do a bit of a clean up on her on her trailer. To be honest, we just need to do a little bit of something something. Light color tiles. I don't know if I should go with the exact same color tiles. If uh, oh the gray's nice. Or the oh the cream. Mmm, the white. I kind of like the cream. I don't know. There's something about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make it relaxing in there. Um, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so for, first up, let's give her trailer a lick of paint. Um, because right now, um, she's got like this rustic looking, like horrible looking thing. I feel like she could take a little look at Alvesa's trailer and maybe, um, maybe come up with something that's kind of similar, but her own style on it. So let's try, let's, let's try this. Um, what about a yellow? A yellow's bright. That's new. What do we think about a yellow? We've got yellow, a green or a blue or a pink, but obviously Alvesa's already got the pink, but you know, she's dead, but you know. <laughs> That just sounded terrible. I think I like the yellow. What do you think about the yellow? And we can get rid of the cracks too. We'll say that she's like tidying up, you know? She's working on the trailer. Maybe yellow, yeah? You think thinking the same thing? And then we go for that the white on top. And then we can do this one another color. You know, she's dead. I know. <laughs> I just said it so abruptly. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, we like the yellow. 
Um, I'm starting my own lap and I'm currently creating some townies. Um, hope you're okay and unwell. Unfortunately, I have COVID. Oh no. Um, I missed the whole of my week holiday from school, but at least I'm keeping everyone safe. Lots of love. Oh, that's really good though. That's really, really good. I'm so in love with your channel. I'm a paraplegic, so I don't be, uh, so I'm not on Twitch much because of appointments, but I just wanted to stop by and tell you. Oh, Sante, that is so cute. Is, is, it, is it DeSante? Thank you so, so, so much. That is so cute. That's so sweet. Um, I really, really appreciate you for stopping by as well. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Um, mm -mm. okay, so I want to get the same door. Yeah, okay, let me get that back. See, she's really making amends to her life. The first thing that she's doing is repairing the trailer. And then she can, you know, do the rest of her life. <laughs> then we can try for the rest. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then maybe we could swap these to the white as well. Let's try these. Swap that to white. And then I'm going to get rid of the old rickety looking things that she's got right now and swap them to the nice ones that Alvesa had. Sorry, it was meant to be OP. <laughs> that's all right. Um, then the middle one and then the end one. So what color should I go for on these? Mm, the blue's quite nice. I don't know if I should actually go for the yellow, though. Maybe I should just go for the yellow. Maybe she could put up some fairy lights. Yes, I installed some fairy lights. I downloaded some CC ones. That's how dedicated I was to customizing her trailer. So I'm going to go and uh, get those as well. Lavender? You think I should go for the lavender ones? Okay, lavender ones it is. I think the lavender looks cute. So, what do I do with all this stuff? What, okay, so all of her things that she collected as a criminal, what do I do with this stuff? Because I do want to keep it, obviously, because that was part of her life and I don't just want to, like, get rid of it. But then also, I feel like she wouldn't have it out on display anymore. Like, this sort of stuff. You think I should sell it? I don't think I should completely sell it. <gasps> donate to charity. Oh my god, I love that. Yes. Okay, is there a way to donate them? Is there a way to do that? Also, let me just look up the fairy lights, too. Is there a way to actually like donate the thing to charity? Because I would love to do that if it's possible. Maybe just sell it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so these are the CC ones that I found. Um, let me see them. How do they look? Which ones look? Yeah, okay, they definitely look better than the optional ones that we've got right now. Right, so let me let me pull these out and then hang them up. Oh yeah, these look pretty good. Okay, how are we looking? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Like that? Are they sitting? Yeah, they're sitting on there. Is that okay? This with like some color. What, what color should we go for? So these are the yellows. That one looks a little bit nicer. Um, I've got these. Oh, those are kind of cute. Oh, the pink. Oh my god, the pink looks so cute. That looks really nice. I'm trying to think of what sort of colors she would like though. The blue is quite nice too. Oh, those ones. <gasps> those are cute. What about these ones? The pink to symbolize Alvesa. Oh my god, don't. I'll actually cry. Like, you'll actually have me in tears. <laughs> Poor Alvesa. There we go. And then pull these ones out. Cross them over like that. There we go. Oh, they, they cross in the middle there. So you know what? Let me just pull that along like that and make that, make that bigger. There we go. And then you can't see the cross. Right, what do we think? Divide it all of them and sell them, donate them, storage them. Uh, someone redeemed a hydrate, by the way. Sorry, I didn't even see it. Annie with the hydrate as well. Thank you so much. And uh, goose baits, goose baits with the follow as well. Thank you so much. Donate it to the bank and be like, hell yeah. Uh, um, be like, hey, yeah, I found something useful for you guys. <laughs> yeah, about this. I found this random stolen ATV. Uh, ATV. Oh my God, ATM. And I just, you know, I don't even know, you know, how I found it. You know, you guys should take it. <laughs> um... We can leave Krusty's. We can leave Krusty's thing. Uh, right, so this has got to change now. We can get rid of the... Well, whatever the hell is going on over here. Mm, do I put the... No, not. we wouldn't have the trailer door on here. We can uh, We can swap to an actual normal door. Um, what door should I have for the yoga studio? That one's not a bad door either. Hmm... You forgot to paint the side of the trailer. Oh, so I did. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. There you go. Is the back painted? Yeah. Back's done, right? Yeah. Uh, what does Redeemer Hydrate mean? It means you are forcing me to drink. <laughs> it means I have to drink. Um, What should we do for the... What should we do for the yoga studio? For the outside? 
What will we do to it? Maybe have like concrete? Ugh, it looks like kind of bad, doesn't it? Um, thank you for the host, Sophia. I appreciate you. Brick wall. Brick wall could work too. Mm. The brick wall looks a bit scabby though, doesn't it? Looks a little, looks a little scabby. What do we do to his trailer? His trailer's got the green on it. Um, and his has got that. Yeah, okay, so none, none of them are gonna work. Stone for the outside. Hmm. Oh, that one's fine. This one looks okay. We could go for this. Let's go for a... Uh, I think the original stone's fine. What do you think about that? That's not bad. And then we'll get rid of the cracks on it as well to make it look a little bit less shabby. So this, I, I want to do like... The way that I'm thinking of it, right, is Nikita's doing a cleanup. So I'm going to start getting rid of these piles of dirt and things that she's got laying around the trailer. As if she's like, you know, starting to clean up around her. She's getting rid of all the dirt and stuff that she's got around her trailer. We're also going to move these things back so it looks a little bit more filled in as well. Here we go. So now it's looking... Look, it's looking way not... Oh, it's looking much nicer. This is looking way better. <laughs> they should have a community garden. Oh my god, that would be so cute. <laughs> we love progress. Yeah, I don't want to do too, too much yet. I feel like she would also try and clean this up as well. So let me... Let me try and get rid of this. I'm going to swap to like the non looking, the, the non disgusting versions. Um, and then I'll try and get rid of the stuff that's on the floor as well. There we go. Is that it? Or have I got more on the floor? There we go. Okay. So she cleaned up a little bit, like not, not like a whole lot, but just a little bit. And, um, hmm. For over here, we need a door on it and, uh, windows as well. Oh, this is cute. That's so cute for a little, for a little uh, yoga studio. I, oh, I love that. That's so cute. Should we go with like a little... We could go with the yellow. Is it... No, the yellow's way too much. I was going to say maybe we could contrast with there, but that doesn't look good. Could just go for the white door. White door's, white door's good. We can go for the white. I can... Oh my god. I can put flowers out the front. Wait, I'm getting all excited now. She's finally becoming a new person and I can actually like do cute decorations and like make it look normal as well. Um, I think these are fine to have there is she gonna yeah to be honest i think that's quite nice to have have that at the front that let, let, lets in quite a lot of light actually that's probably the only place that you would have windows in the yoga studio because you're not gonna have windows anywhere else because um you know it's not gonna face onto anything yeah i think it's looking good oh this one turns around oh my god wait that is so cute <laughs> wait that is so cute i love that wait can i get rid of the trailer door and replace it with this one the yellow one can I? Is that is that bad because the yellow is not the same color? Maybe if I just go with the white. That's too cute. Can I? Can I have the same door? Maybe move the dumpster. In fact, do we actually need the dumpsters? You know what? Let me go for like the non-disgusting looking ones because I'm pretty sure there is another version of the dumpsters, but they're like yeah, like these ones. So like we'll still have the dumpsters there, but she went over there and like cleaned off the graffiti and stuff on them. So now there's like not a bunch of like disgustingness on them. Um, at least it's like not as bad. <laughs> um, oh yeah, more wall mirrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me put those around. So, um, it's gonna be in here. Let, let's put the yoga equipment down first. So first up, she's gonna have a pillow for deep thoughts. Oh, or one, or the stall. Maybe we should go for the stall. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have a little stall for her to, you know, meditate on. And then we're also gonna grab, um... Uh, okay, that's yoga instructor. Here we go. And then we're also going to grab some yoga mats. I'm going to buy two of them, though, because I want... Um, I want Elliot to come in here and do some yoga with her if he wants to. So I'm just going to get them and see if he wants to come in. So what have we got? Mm -mm -mm -mm. That, mm, that one's kind of nice. I like that one. And this one? That one's kind of nice, too. There we go. Okay, what do we think? Is that okay? I know it's a little bit basic, but you know. <laughs> it's a yoga studio. What else could I do? And then... Uh, mirrors? Hi, Grace! Welcome to the stream! How are you, honey? And then we'll get some mirrors across here. Uh, are those ones good? Those ones work. Right, that one. And then where's the singular version of it? Where is the singular version? There we go. That? Okay, what do we think about that? Is that good? Yeah? 
enjoying the progress in her life. Yeah, I'm so excited that she's like actually becoming like a good person. It's gradual, but you know, it's progress. <laughs> I will take it. And then we'll get these two. I think that's good. Maybe on two sides. Oh, I love that. Yes. Plants. Oh my god, yes, plants as well. You know what? I don't want to do too much though. Look, we're only down to two and a half, two and a half grand. I think we need to focus on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to focus on our trailer. So first up, let's say that she's gone round and repaired the walls and things. So I'm gonna get rid of like all the like markings and stuff she's got on the walls. So we'll say that she's gone round and like, you know painted and things. Um, we'll get rid of some of the dirt and disgusting stuff that she's got in here too. Oh my god, this is actually this is actually so much progress. <laughs> We could get rid of this, her dirty washing. She's actually tied it up for once. That's literally been there years. <laughs> Proud of Nikita. Oh, music as well, yeah. See, this is why I bring you guys along, you know? <laughs> this is why. Those mirrors are perfect. Yeah, I think I think they suit it really well as well. Um, and then a bedroom. We can actually give it like a nice lick of paint so that, why do I, I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, let's paint it a little bit. So it's looking a little bit cuter in here. We can still go with the red if that's the color that she likes in here. Um, okay, that's a little, little, little dark and deep. Um, I mean, I don't want to change her completely. She still loves black. Her favorite color is still black. That doesn't mean we have to go with black walls, though, does it? That's a little. Okay, that's a little too nice. Let's just go with paint. Lick of paint. Do you guys not say that? Is that just me who says it? It's probably just me. I'm honestly an embarrassment. Just don't talk. Just don't talk about me. <laughs> just don't talk about it. Um, oh, this could work. Oh, that's a little bit nicer. This could work. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like this. Uh, do we go with that one? And then maybe we go for uh, this one around the edge. This could work. There we go. Okay, what do we think? Is that better? I mean, it's already better now, I think. That's too nice. Yeah, I am thinking like she still lives in a trailer, you know, so... Um, let's actually buy some floorboards. This is this is gonna be the best upgrade ever. She's officially gonna buy some floorboards and put them down. So this is gonna be serious progress. I am actually so proud. <laughs> you guys don't even know how proud I am right now. Um, what floor should we go for? We, we don't wanna go too nice. She still lives in a trailer. I, I want like her house that she moves into to be like the big upgrade, you know? So we, we can't go like too crazy. Um, We say coat of pain. I don't think it's a normal thing to say a lick of pain, but like, sounds cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about a lick of pain. Oh, that's nice. This this in another color. This would be really nice in another color. Um, Oh yeah, I really like this. Oh, I like that. Oh wait, it doesn't go with the, doesn't go with the side, does it? Damn it. Um, Well, I do like it though. <laughs> oh, that one goes, that one goes nicely. And this one we go for the dark. What have we got? Mm. Um, what color should I go for? Maybe I should change this room and change the color of it. You know what, let's go for the... No. We... <clears throat> Remove her stolen items from the display. Oh, you know what she can do with stolen items? She can return them. What about as like retribution for the fact that she's been a bad person for like her entire life? She starts to return all the stolen items that she collected. So even though they're worth a lot of money, she starts to like return all of them. That would be so cute. She could just go through and return them all because she feels bad about it. That might be nice. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm not liking that combination together. I think in here, I don't even like this either. You know what? The floor's the, uh, the floor's too shiny as well. That's just, yeah. I just don't like the floor. I think. Not her returning. I feel like she'd feel bad, right? She'd feel bad for stealing all these items. So she's like, okay, I'll return them. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go for the dark. The dark you can't go wrong with. We'll also get some tiles in the in the bathroom too. Um, ooh, that's good. that could work maybe. Mm. She would be like, she would be in jail, honestly. No, 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 like I'll go and leave them like outside the people's houses so they won't know that she stole them, but she'd feel bad and give them all back, you know? So <laughs> like, like she's almost repaying everybody for stealing all of their stuff, stuff that she just kept for the sake of it anyways. Um, but she's gonna feel bad for it, you know? <laughs> 
I say keep the stolen items and call them life lessons. <laughs> Maybe I could leave them like decorating a house and she can just like feel bad about them every single time she sees them Or is that kind of mean to do? Maybe it's mean There we go, get rid of this too Hey, I found this thing that you seem to have lost <laughs> Yeah, about that <laughs> You- I think you lost these <laughs> Alright, get rid of that She still has- she still has this stuff up here The uh, she stole this too Yeah, stole them Uh, stolen Oh my god This she got from work this stuff she got from work too. I've, yeah, I think she's, she's got a lot of stolen stuff around the house. <laughs> I know, what do you think of the change? I think it looks so much nicer in here now. Um, what is the name of this? Stonefield? Let me look this up. Stonefield. Can you not look that up? Stonefield tile. Can you not look up tiles? That's kind of weird. Mmm. Ooh, that's kind of that's kind of nice too though this one. Oh, the blue oh the blue would be nice like to brighten it up a little bit what is this dare to be square oh that's the um that's the kit i think what kit is that packs mm -mm. what kit was this oh wait it wasn't actually a kit it was like a, a cc kit i think oh wait no that is a kit what kit is this is this a kit or is it cc i think that's cc I get serious Aquarius vibes from Sagittarius, uh, from Nikita. That or a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. What what sort of vibes are you supposed to get from a Sagittarius? I don't know. I um I told you guys last time that I wasn't. It's CC. Oh, that's awkward. Um, yeah, I told you guys a little while ago that like I don't really uh, follow that stuff, but I'm still interested by it. <laughs> I want to know what my vibes are supposed to be as a Sagittarius. Um. It says CC in the corner. Oh, that's really awkward. Did I not see it? Oops. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. I'm fine. Mm. What do we go for? That could work too. What? It shouldn't be this difficult to decorate like a tiny little bathroom, you know? It's literally... It's tiny. I mean, that could work. Okay, the reason why I'm going for this one, right, is because I imagine that that would be used in a... Like a trailer bathroom. Sagittarius is known to be adventurous, outgoing, kind of crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm not sure that matches up. <laughs> I'm not sure that. I mean, in some aspects of my life, I guess, but like not all the time. Yeah, not all the time. Um. Ooh. Ooh, what can we do with this? Um. Does it come in like the blue? Oh, you know, that's so annoying that it doesn't actually come in the specific blue. We'll have to go for the white. This one comes in a blue though. What does that look like? Looks like zero difference. Okay, let's find them. Sippy Sip, thank you, Narnia, for the Sippy Sip. Sagittarius is independent and have the ability to do what they want. Okay, that makes sense. That that would definitely make sense. Sagittarius is so talkative. Okay, well that works. <laughs> I've all people have always said I talk too much. Like throughout my whole entire life, everyone has said, "Yeah, you talk too much," <laughs> which you know can be a little offensive sometimes. But you know, it's my thing. I don't mind. <laughs> And then I think we'll come back to the kitchen. You know, I think we're good for the renovations. I'm gonna change the color of the bed. I think. We'll change that to white. You know, she changed up her life, going bright. Oh my god, the toilet rug! I reinstalled it! <gasps> oh my god, you just reminded me. Oh my god! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I reinstalled the toilet rug. Oh my goodness, look at it! <laughs> oh my god, it's back. It's back. Oh my god. And it comes in blue. Oh my goodness. I love this. Where's the other one? Where's the, ma where's the matching bath rug as well to go outside the shower? I love these so much like i actually cannot even tell you guys about how much i love it yes okay should we do it like like that like as you come out It'd be like that mm. like that uh like that is that weird though no nah, that's fine yes i love toilet rugs you guys know how excited i get about this like oh my god the toilet rug. i couldn't believe that i didn't have it in a house for so long my daughter's birthday is December 15th and she talks like a waterfall. Michelle, my birthday is December 15th and I talk like a waterfall. I think me and your daughter, I think we're like secret sisters, you know. <laughs> Has anything happened in the live um, so far? My mum's birthday is December 15th. Oh my God, Kira. I'm, um, I'm also sisters with your mum too. <laughs> 
they have the emotional intelligence so it helps them uh, connect with people you know what i do find that um i connect with people um i i find that i find like i connect with people like i feel like um, I do struggle to make friends though. Like I, in real life, I think I struggle to make friends because I can be, I can be kind of anxious in person, but I feel like, um, once I get to know somebody, like, I feel like I, you know, like want to be their friend. I don't know. <laughs> um, did you see Trin's highlight message? No, sorry, Trin, could you resend it? I'm December 5th. Oh my God, September. You're the same day as my boyfriend as well. <laughs> uh, better not spend too much money since we need, need to move to a tiny house soon. Oh my God, Daisy, stop. <laughs> Okay, what do you guys think of the trailer renovations? What are we thinking? I now have a fully fledged yoga room. I've cleaned up the outside of the trailer so that it doesn't look as scabby. Um, I got rid of all the disgusting things. And I cleaned all of this up. I think this is pretty good. What star sign is Ben? Ben should be a Sagittarius too, I think. Isn't Ben a Sagittarius? I think we're both Sagittarius's. Or is it like, I think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ben's a Sagittarius too. I don't know, I have to ask him. Elliot took her trash. Elliot is so cute. I love him, honestly. He's always like trying to be so helpful. Oh, she's gonna go cry. She feels so bad. She feels so bad about this thing that happened. Okay. What do you guys think? Should I start returning the stuff that she's stolen? Sagittarius is honestly free spirits. They don't let anyone weigh them down. And they're so badass, talkative, a people person, adventurous. They can also be quite sweet and caring lovers. Okay. I feel like in some ways that reflects me, but not in all ways. Like I'm not, I think, I think in some ways of my life it reflects me. Um, I'm very talkative. I guess I could be a people person. I guess you couldn't really do YouTube and Twitch if you wasn't that much of a people person. So I feel like in a way, yeah. I'm not very adventurous. I'm kind of scared of everything. So some ways not, but I'm adventurous with other things, I think. Um, and I, I feel like I, I, I guess maybe a free spirit. I don't know. I am, I am quite independent though, I feel like. <laughs> Alicia's crying in a brand new bed, true, <laughs> true. Oh, she's cleaning up. Oh my God, she's actually like making changes herself and I am so proud. I am so proud of you. What, is he is he coming out here for a nap? Can we talk to him? Do you think you're extroverted because Sagittarius is supposed to be very extroverted? No, I actually think I'm more of an introverted person, but um, I guess some people would say that I'm extroverted. Um, at least when it comes to things that I'm comfortable with, if I'm, if I'm comfortable with this stuff, like with YouTube and Twitch, I'm very comfortable with it. Now I'm extroverted. Now I'll say whatever I want. I feel the way that I want. I won't feel self-conscious. Like I won't be worried. I'm just sort of like into it, you know? Um, but in person, I feel like I'm a lot more introverted. Like a, a, people, a lot of people used to say that I'm very, like, I used to be very shy, at least when I was younger. But I think as I've gotten older, I've gotten way more, way more outgoing and way more, uh, extroverted. Is Krusty okay? Krusty's just having the time of his life, honestly. <laughs> Krusty's just having the time of his life. Should I should I give him a hug? I think is it always oh, always oh, not okay. Always oh, not okay. <laughs> he's to go to the vets. Okay, he's not okay. <laughs> I love how you guys already knew that something was wrong with him. Um just made a bunch of potential sims to start your legacy challenge, Lauren. Oh my god, Kirsten. Do you want to post them to the uh to the Sims Discord? I really want to see. Hi, Tina, don't worry. Sorry, I'm super late. Long day of conference calls. How was work today? Was it okay? Hi, Addison. Finally excited. I made it to your stream. First day uh, off work in 15 days. Oh my God, Addison, that's way too long. You need to take care of yourself. But um, I I'm glad to have you here though. <laughs> okay, let's go to the vets. I have an eyelash in my eye too. Right, let's go to the vets. And then I want to try and have Elliot and her go on their first date when I come back from the vet. So tonight... Hopefully we can go on like a little date with Elliot and it'll be really cute. Um, so I'm gonna have him ask her to go out on a date and, and do it there. I think that'll be cute. <laughs> there are quite a few uh, Sims on your new hashtag as well, new Sims. I'm thinking one of these days we're gonna do a, um, not just crazy Sim Redeems, we'll actually go on the gallery and we'll get a bunch of new Sims off the hashtag as well. Because now that Nikita's is like a different person, she's probably gonna have a lot more friends, like a different friendship group as well. I want her to have a bunch of mummy friends. So friends that like, you know, they have their own kids and things. Um, and I think it'll be nice for her to have like like-minded friends. I think that'll be good. <laughs> Thank you for the save reminder, Erin. Yummy mummies, exactly. <laughs> 
I'm a Gemini and people always assume that I'm a chatterbox and deceptive, but honestly my family and friends love me and I'm very intelligent and emotionally conscious person. I can read people and I always know when somebody is lying to me. I'm also caring and loving. So do you find that you match up to what a Gemini is supposed to be? Or not? The Yummy Mummy Club, wait, you've actually, you've actually inspired me now. I'm gonna add all of the Yummy Mummies into this big old club when she becomes like, you know, when she becomes a mum herself. I love the fact that she looks like such a cool mum right now though. Like, look at her outfits that she's wearing. She actually looks so cool. <laughs> okay, Krusty, baby, I'm gonna get you sorted out. In fact, where is Krusty? Are you okay, baby? Let me give him a hug really quick. Let me give him a quick little comforting hug. There you go. <laughs> Yes, a good crazy sim time to make mummy friends. She needs like, you know, she needs other friends to also have kids. So I think what we'll do, we'll do like a crazy sim redeem. Um, and we'll do, or not crazy sim redeem, we'll do like a, um, a gallery thing where I get a bunch of sims off the gallery and I'll turn them into like a bunch of mums and give them like children and then give them like husbands or, you know, wives or like whatever. We'll like pair them up and then um, I'll add them all to a group and they can all be like mummies, you know. Huh. Um, I'm gonna go with the basic treatment. I'm really sorry, Krusty, but I'm trying to save up to decorate my trailer. And to be honest, like the cone of shame is really not that bad. Like, come on, look, look how much better you feel. Come on, you're fine. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I can't hug him anymore. No, let me praise him. Oh, Krusty, baby. Oh my God. And then talk to him. You know, Krusty has been our one and true friend throughout it all. Like, if there's been one person that stuck by us from the very beginning, it's been Krusty. Sorry, but Krusty is a true OG. Should we make some families to upload to the gallery? Oh my god, yes, please. If you guys could upload, like, a whole family, that would be, like, very, very convenient if it's possible for you guys to do. And then I can just download them straight from the gallery. That would be really good. Am I the only one who couldn't relate to their sign? I mean, in a way, I feel like I'm... The, I feel like I'm, I don't relate exactly. I feel like... Uh, Sagittarius is supposed to be like way more extroverted than what I am. I guess I'm not, not like by the book. <laughs> oh my goodness, Krusty. See, look, Krusty shows us love and then just attacks everybody else, which is honestly, it's just him and I love him for it. <laughs> Hi, Mimi, just stopping by, have a good stream. No worries, thank you so much for the, for the well wishes as well. What makes me sad is Krusty won't be around for Nikita's kids to grow up. No, Erin, don't even, no, actually Erin, don't even say that. No, I'm gonna be sad. How, okay, I shouldn't even check this, but how long has he got left to live? <gasps> he's only got seven days, no! That, no, that's not fine. That's not fine. He's only got seven days? No, I'm gonna cry. I might actually cry. <laughs> Are you uh, gonna stream on Sunday? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out for Halloween. If I'm not going out, then I'll definitely stream on Sunday. If I am going out for Halloween, then I won't stream on Sunday. So I'm not sure. Depends, depends if I go out or not. Um, I'll let you guys know. Most likely, I won't. Um, and then probably what we were gonna do, I was gonna check with you guys if any of you guys have, have phasmophobia, and I was gonna do uh, phasmophobia with viewers for that stream, and we'll do like a Halloween phasmophobia stream. I thought that'd be kind of cool. And I was thinking of including jump scares as well for you guys to redeem. I think that might be cool. I know I shouldn't have checked it. I know, <laughs> I shouldn't have checked it. Krusty can live long, not sure how, but you can age him down through a tree. I mean, as much as I like, as much as I like would want to do that as well, I also don't. Like, I like the fact that Krusty, okay, that, no, that sounds horrible. I, okay, I love, why is he sitting? Okay, I come home and he's literally sitting on my, he's literally sitting on my bed. Um, okay, right, let me, um, you know what, let me, let me tell him about, let me ask him for some advice. Like, let me go, let me, cause I feel like he's really like supportive of her with her changing up her life. So if there's anybody who's just gonna go over there and, you know, talk to about the fact that she's struggling. Um, it'll be, it'll be him, you know, with the whole Alejandro situation. He's hinting something, oh no. <laughs> oh my God, he's so cute. Can you even get over these blue eyes? Like they are actually like mesmerizing. These blue eyes, I can see, oh my goodness. He's actually gorgeous. I can't. Are you gonna go get stung? Oh my God, Alvis's bees are enraged. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, no. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Right, I need to, um... oh, she can go and be flattering. Okay, why don't we ask him for some advice? We need to work on our, um... we need to work on our public image. You know what? Let me just quickly look up how you have your Sims work on their public image. How to increase public image, um, Sims 4. 
Here we go. Right, so Google says that you can cheat it, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, is, is it going to tell me how to not do it as a cheat? Not cheated? <laughs> not cheat. How are you supposed to... There we go. No, I don't want the cheat. I don't want the cheat. That's so annoying. Why doesn't it tell you? Like, is there not, like, I don't want the cheat for it. I just want to know how to do it in game. Like, how to be a better person. Lauren doesn't want to cheat. What do you mean? I never cheat. <laughs> I don't ever cheat. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I don't want the cheat version. How to improve public image sims 4 i don't want to cheat okay fame perks guide maybe it's in here losing fame no no it should be in okay fame okay this is n none of this is what i want fame perks no does anybody know i uh, yeah google's trying to convince me to use treats and i don't want to not google making you use sheets <laughs> um Gain fame and public image. Gaining fame or public image will increase the two metrics. There are five rankings. Yeah, yeah, Okay, cool. Fame guide. Losing fame. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Media production. Skill boost. Positive public image. Giving back. Rally and star troop. So I need to do this stuff. Okay, so I think somebody said donation to charity is one of them. So I think as a first up, because apparently Google is not going to help me, Let's go and try and donate to charity as our first, like, you know, we're being a good person type of thing. Um, becoming friends with randoms by taking pictures. Oh, I've got to go around and take pictures of people, huh? Is that really what I've got to go do? Right, okay, right. Let me come in here. Can I come and donate to charity from here? Um, where will it be? My career? No. Uh, plum code. Donate to online charity. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna donate a hundred to um, no sim left behind. Okay, who would she donate to? Foundation for less mischief? Probably not, because she's very mischievous still. Baby makers, back rubs for baby makers. <laughs> World United, speak for the trees, Somalians for everybody, Llama International. I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm gonna head off a little bit early. I hope the rest of the stream goes well and I talk to you all soon. No worries, Erin, I hope you feel better soon and we'll speak to you soon. Um, I don't think you need to be a good sim. No sim left behind. Baby makers. You guys want me to donate to baby makers? Fine, okay. I'll donate to the the back rubs for baby makers, okay? Oh my god. Okay, just stop. Just stop. Look, 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 look at what you're doing. Because you're sad, it's just not going anywhere, is it? Stop doing it. Just stop doing it. Just donate to, just donate to baby makers, okay? Just go no just donate to them. <laughs> Let me see if it helps. Right, so let's have a look. Her her reputation is as bad as it gets, right? It's like, it can't get any worse from here. So if I have a donate to this, what will it do? The charity is appreciate, appreciative for a sizable donation and thanks Nikita. Oh, thanks Nikita on their donor newsletter. Okay, that's good. Let's do another. Um, Let's just do a bunch. Oh, I donated too recently. Damn it, okay. Um, hmm. That's not gonna work. Oh my god, she's so sad because of Alejandro. I know, I feel so terrible. I can't make her feel any better. Oh, she can blog about her feelings. Okay, why don't you go blog about your feelings, babe? Oh yeah, we need to we need to uh, return the stolen items. Okay, that's gonna be something that we're gonna do in a second as well. That's probably gonna help her be a better person, right? You have to have less enemy and more friends and just gem and just be good generally. <laughs> that's really gonna work. <laughs> Oh, nobody likes her. Like, <laughs> once nobody, like, once you already do terribly in this world, it's just not going to work, I feel like. It's just going to work very terribly. Is she feeling any better yet? Okay, how about you, uh, why don't we call the sadness hotline? You know, can we call them and ask them for help? <laughs> Could somebody help me? Okay, call the sadness hotline. Look, you need to talk to somebody about this because this is not good. Should I go volunteer? Can I take can I take Elliot with me to go volunteer or does she have to go by herself? I mean if I had to go by myself, that's fine as well. Where is it? Volunteer. Um Oh maybe it's on her phone. I think it's on her phone. How do you go volunteer? 
Mm. Volunteer. Anybody know? <laughs> On your phone? Where is it? Make a prank call. No. No, no. Travel off to. Oh, volunteer. Here we go. Volunteer at a bake sale. Volunteer at a beach cleanup. A no oh my god, a nursing home? Yes. Yes. Go volunteer at the nursing home, honey. The old people need you. They need you. <laughs> Saw this on Google. To increase reputation, Sims must be doing, must be, uh, must do good interactions to other Sims, such as admiring Sims, telling jokes, or giving them a friendly hug. Okay, thank you, Starfire. Right, so she just needs to be a generally a good person. So if we could, if we could do that, that would be great. <laughs> if we could just work on that. Uh, no, sorry. I'm actually being a good person right now, so I don't do bubble blowing anymore. Why is she so sad? Because she had um, she had a relationship with her drug dealer and she called it quits. And she she said that she just wanted to be friends because, you know, he was that part of her life that she didn't want to, you know, she didn't want to have a romantic relationship with him. He thought it was something more. So they just, yeah, it just didn't work. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Volunteering worked. How does she feel? She had a therapeutic chat and she also feels really good. Volunteering was fun and made Nikita feel all warm inside good times <gasps> volunteering is fun and builds character it also uh, it also feels good to do good for others okay so she still has an atrocious reputation but that was a big chunk that was a really big chunk i'm so proud of her right first up let's go and um let's go and meditate a little bit obviously um this should help this this should help a little bit here we go go and meditate my babes like you know be one with the zen just go and be calm here you go here we go right first level of her wellness skill here she goes she's relaxed she's becoming a new person <laughs> jazz with the two on top of five months thank you so much hi your work has been insane you are also amazing i miss chatting with you all we miss having you here jazz but i completely understand if work is manic we love you thank you so so, so much as well also, did she get a new job? She's not getting a new job just yet. Um, the dead body behind her. We, we don't know where that is. <laughs> um, she's not going to get a new job until she ends up quitting her job now. Um, and she's going to become a stay-at-home mum. But that's when she actually has children. So what we're going to have her do is keep her job but take a bunch of vacation days and do it that way, I think. Uh, bake sunset with a follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow. She even gives looks whilst meditating. Yes, queen. <laughs> we'll just let her relax a little bit. Is there any way to get her sadness down like as much as possible? Oh my god, I just subbed to you on YouTube. I didn't know you streamed on Twitch. Yes, thank you so much for joining my Twitch as well. That's really kind of you. <laughs> Did Nasset age up? Yeah, she just aged up to a young adult, I think. I saw that a second ago. So it's going to be our chance to go meet her now that she's a young adult as well. Lauren, do you think Nikisa can be a yoga instructor? Oh, she could be. That could be like her job, like, uh, like although she's like a mom as well, she's gonna be a stay-at-home mom. She could do like freelancing of like yoga classes. That would be really cool too. Have her cry out in the bed. Should I ever go do that? Okay, let me have her cry out in the bed. <laughs> what else does she want to do? Complain about her problems. Oh my god! Wait, I really re wait. While meditating, Nikita realized that she would just be fine and moved. Wait, what? While meditating, Nikita realized that she would just be fine and she moved past her breakup. Wait, that's so good for her though. That's so good. Wait, it worked. Oh my god, meditating actually works. Oh my god, I am so proud. That actually works. Oh my god, she's getting over it. This is so good. So this is actually working. So in two hours, she shouldn't be sad anymore. Oh my god, this is so good. Yes, she's becoming mindful. She's controlling her emotions. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud. She's becoming a whole new person. And then um, she needs to go to sleep. At least she's got on a normal sleeping schedule now as well. Okay. Two more hours. Wait, one more hour? F 54 minutes. Is Krusty going to be immortal? No, I'm not going to make Krusty immortal because we need to move on to the next generation of like animals as well. Um, for every generation, we're going to have like a different animal. So we'll keep like moving on. Um, so we are going to keep doing that. Okay. She's going to... There we go. Oh, she feels so much better. Yes. And she's wellness skill level two. Great. Okay, she's feeling amazing. She wants to go do. It. Oh, I just oh, I just cancelled out of it. Bollocks. Okay. <laughs> oh, she wants to meditate. Okay, that's good. Everything that she's feeling is very, very, very calm. I like that. Um, let's go and grab some food. I she still hasn't gone out and bought any good food, so we're still gonna have to just eat pizza rolls. But that's fine, you know, one step at a time and everything. <laughs> Maybe Nikita can help Alejandro later. It is the Sydney's idea. It might be good for her to go and like, you know, try and make friends with him later on and they can try and talk it out. I think that might be like good progression for them as well. Mm. 
I also want her to go around and start returning all of her stolen items as well. Maybe she can freelance yoga class and a masseuse out of her home. Oh, I love that too. That's really, really cool. She got rid of her sadness too soon. Be sad when Krusty dies in a few days. Oh no. She's going to be really sad when Krusty goes as well. She loves Krusty. There we go. Nikisa has returned the stolen object to its rightful owner. Wait, how does she feel? Returned stolen object. It always feels good to return a swiped object. And what's her public image looking like? Okay, it didn't really do anything from that. Right, let's return this thing as well. Here we go. It's making her feel good to do it. So I'll, I'll have her return those. There we go. Go return that. Let's get rid of all these stolen items that you've got. Oh, hold on. Let me bring it down. Let me bring it down so she can return it. <laughs> She's actually being a good person. Look at her. <laughs> There you go. Let me put it on the floor and you can return it down. Right. Return this one. Go ahead and get rid of it. Public image. Is it looking any better? No. It doesn't help. What do you mean it doesn't help when you do that? Right. Whatever. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Did Elvesa die? Yes. Unfortunately, she got set on fire. So she did die. <laughs> she did. She did pass away. It was really sad. It went down like the tiniest bit. Oh, did it? I didn't even see it. Um... Okay, well, this is working. She's just going to have to keep, like, volunteering and, like, being a good person. But at the end of the day, it's, like, going down really slowly. <laughs> it's very difficult to try and be a good person. Um, yeah, it's a slow progress. Yeah, it is a work in progress, but it's taking a very long time. Like, I did want her to, like, you know, be on the track to be a good person. Or not, like, now, you know. Like, admittedly, it's a bit quick, right? No more dust bunnies we love. Oh, I turned it off too. I turned off the ability to have dust bunnies. I was like, yeah, get rid of that. Okay, she woke up. She needs some amusement. She has playful decor and she's also feeling pretty angry. So um, why don't we go take a shower and then go use the toilet and get ready for a new day. Uh, is she supposed to have work today? Yeah, she is. So I'm going to have her take the day off work. So here we go. Call in sick, call in fake sick, take vacation day. So I'm just going to have her take vacation days until she's ready to quit her job. Because I feel like I still want to make money from her job, even though she's not going, you know? It will go up fast once she has kids and become a good parent. Yeah, I think so. It's like she needs to focus on herself as well right now, I think. Will somebody else live in a better trailer or will you make a new trailer or will that trailer be empty? Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it empty because she's going to be moving out hopefully soon anyways. Oh, what does Elliot want to do? Elliot wants to chat with her? Okay. No, I don't want the money. Thanks. I'm not taking any of that money. There you go. Taking the day off. Enjoy your day off. Yes. Thank you so much. Is he okay? Okay. I think he's good. Oh, she can go straight in with kissing his hands. Oh my goodness. She already wants like, she already wants to do that. Okay. Um, let me ask him about his day. Apparently giving people compliments and things like that is really good and it helps with like being a good person. So I should try and do that. Um, I'm going to compliment his outfit and then I'm going to try flattering him a little bit. Like, you know, be thankful for him being... I mean, he's always really nice to her for a long time. He's feeling a little bit tense. Maybe I should like, get him to watch some TV or something with me. That might help. Do you want to come watch some TV with me? Oh God, what is she doing? Is that the flatter? Oh, God. Okay, right. <laughs> that looked like she was flirting with him. Um, yeah, come watch some TV. There you go. Can you can you get on the bed too? Watch TV together. Hello? Go relax on the bed. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, hello. Look at this. <gasps> oh, why is he getting up? No! Why is he getting up? Oh, he's like he's like trying to focus. I think he couldn't see the TV or something. Is he feeling? Is he feeling okay? He's a lot, he's a lot stressed right now. Ask about favourite hangout. Should I ask him who wants to go out or something? Not Elliot ruining the moment. I mean, it was looking like they were about to move on to something else, though. God, he's so stressed. What is wrong with him? I think I think I need to I think I need to control him and find out what's wrong. Honestly, all of my roommates, they always get like so stressed all the time. Should I try and give him a gift? Maybe he'll feel better with a gift. Should I give him a vacuum? Maybe, maybe uh, tidying up your house will be better. <laughs> Give him a massage. Okay, that could work too. Oh my God, yoga together. What a good idea. He's feeling really stressed. Let's go do yoga together. That's a really good idea. Why don't we? Oh, can I not grab him in a group and say do yoga together? Can I not do that? No, can you not do it? Promote guided meditation on Simstagram. Oh my God, that might be a good idea. Do yoga routine. Can you not ask, can you not do that together? 
I should, oh, should I take a photo with him? I don't want to do that because I don't want to like force their relationship. You should relieve his stress. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Compliment his personality. There you go. How can I have them do yoga together? Oh, the cake's still chilling out here. Oh my God, he's so angry. What's wrong with him? <gasps> Um, control. Oh, oh, good idea. Okay, hold on. Let me control him. It'll be easier because he's feeling really tense. I need to help him out. Um, remove from roommates. Control sim. Here we go. Right, what's going on? He feels a, a festering bitterness, and he's also stressed because he's worried about his health. He has bad surroundings, but he he does feel really good because he was flattered, and he feels really good because he was fashionably recognised as well. Um, so let me get rid of this, and let me get rid of this, and will he feel a little bit better? Okay, why don't you go and do some yoga and then you go and do the same and then maybe you'll both calm down a little bit. <laughs> go and um, go and go and chill. Oh, look at them facing each other. Look at them. Why is this cute? Why is this cute though? <laughs> Their relationship is so up and down. I think it's because my Sims are always in bad moods. I think that's why. Like they struggle to get on because um, like Ellie will be in a bad mood because of like something and then she'll be in a really bad mood because of something too. So obviously when Sims are in bad moods, their like relationships don't go well. Um, so I need to work. Okay, pop off Elliot, pop off. Like he's suspicious right now um, because um, an acquaintance of Elliot is around and not the nice type of acquaintance who you want to know more, however, but rather the type that you want to avoid. Elliot barely knows the other sim, but their aura of mischief irks around him. So he already like feels really dodgy about Nikita, you know? It's difficult because she's not gonna change overnight. So he doesn't he doesn't necessarily like the person that she was before, you know? So I think I think it is difficult for them. Mm. Okay, Elliot. Okay, what is this? <laughs> It's the dead body. You think the dead body's getting to him back here? <laughs> yeah, Nikita does have the irresponsible trait as well. Yeah, she does. Ghost boy with the two ones up for five months. Thank you so much. Nearly a whole half a year. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, and the uh, uh, you said yes. Yes, thank you so much. Guys, can we get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Ghost Boy as well? Next stream is tiny home time. Oh my God, I'm not even mentally prepared for that. Not even mentally prepared. It's the dead body and the trash around them, I think. Yeah. Honestly, them moving is probably is gonna be a, like a huge thing for them, but I need them to work on their relationship together. So um I think we're going to I think we're gonna have them like go out for like a, on a like not on a date necessarily, but go out for dinner and things like that. So I think what we'll do, we'll leave the stream off here and they're both hungry, which is perfect. So then we will go ahead and have them go out in the next stream and um, you know, try and go out for some food and like work on their relationship a little bit together. I think that'll be really good because both of them are really stressed. Obviously being around this environment is not good. Elliot is trying to help out Nikita because obviously Nikita's, you know, she's a bit of a she was a terrible person and she's trying to work on it, but it doesn't happen overnight, so she still is a pretty bad person. Person. so we need to work on that a little bit but she looks very cute she's changing her whole life is changing which is honestly big big progress we love this for her so we're very very proud um but i am gonna go ahead and end the stream off here because i need to go do some recording so i will go ahead and speak to you guys tomorrow no i won't speak to you guys tomorrow i will probably speak to you guys on sunday but i'll let you guys know if i'm gonna be going out on halloween or not if i'm going out on halloween i won't stream if i'm not going anywhere for halloween then i will stream so um i will go ahead and let you guys know what i'm doing i'll make sure i give you guys updates so i will see you all later thank you guys so 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 much for coming i appreciate you all for being here as always i love you guys so much and i will speak to you later uh no there's no stream tomorrow tomorrow's friday right there's no stream on fridays we don't stream on fridays um right okay so let me see who's streaming sims 4 right now we have oh simsy simsy's building a haunted house uh do you guys want to go read little simsy um and steph k is doing an extreme decades challenge as well a little simsy yeah okay we'll go read little simsy i'm pretty sure she's doing something for charity at the moment as well so it's really nice so let's go over there make sure little simsy knows you're coming in i love you guys so 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 much and i will speak to you all potentially on sunday if not i'll speak to you all on monday i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your uh week i hope you guys have an amazing friday and saturday saturday i never say that because i never stream on those days <laughs> so i will see you all later thank you guys so 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 much for coming and i will speak to you all then um yeah have a good rest of your morning afternoon or evening and i'll speak to you later bye guys little birdie thank you all for this
donations in a row too. Um. <laughs> also, Miss Lollipop, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Oh my goodness, you are you are here for quite the stream. Um.